An incredible giant rift is slowly tearing Africa, the second largest continent apart. This massive crack ripping through Africa, caused by the restless movement of tectonic plates beneath Ethiopia, shows that the continent is splitting in two, paving the way for for Earth's sixth ocean to emerge, according to pioneering researchers. This geological marvel is known as the East African Rift, an intricate system of valleys that spans a staggering 2,175 miles, from the Red Sea to Mozambique, as confirmed by the esteemed Geological Society of London. Imagine the spectacle as countries along the southeastern coast are poised to transform into a sprawling island, giving birth to an entirely new sea stretching from Ethiopia to Mozambique. This awe-inspiring transformation has been in motion since the emergence of the East African Rift, a 35-mile-long chasm in Ethiopia's arid desert, first revealed its extraordinary presence in 2005. This groundbreaking geological event promises to reshape our world and captivate the imagination as a new ocean emerges in the heart of Africa. The process of the African continent splitting in two is a geological phenomenon known as the East African Rift System. This ongoing tectonic activity is causing the African plate to gradually split into two smaller plates, the Nubian Plate, also called the African Plate, and the Somali Plate. The East African Rift extends from the Afar Triangle in the northeastern part of the continent, through the Eastern African region, and down to Mozambique in the south. This rift is the result of the African Plate and the Somali Plate drifting apart due to the movement of the Earth's tectonic plates. The rift is characterized by a series of deep cracks, faults, and fissures that are slowly widening over millions of years. These geological processes are driven by the movement of magma beneath the Earth's crust, causing the lithosphere to stretch and break apart. As the East African Rift continues to evolve, it is gradually separating the eastern part of the African continent from the rest of the continent. Over an extremely long time scale, millions of years from now, this rift could potentially lead to the creation of a new ocean in the area. However, this process is very slow and occurs over geological timescales, so it will not result in an immediate splitting of the continent. The East African Rift System is a fascinating example of the dynamic nature of our planet's geology, and it offers valuable insights into the marvelous work of God and how He shaped the Earth's surface, even shifting it around over immense spans of time. The Eastern Rift extends from the Afar Triangle in the northeastern part of Africa, through countries like Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, and Mozambique. This branch is the most well-known and extensively studied. It has the potential to create a new ocean as the African and Somali plates continue to move away from each other. Lakes, such as Lake Victoria and Lake Tanganyika, are found in the Eastern Rift, and they are situated in the rift valleys formed by the tectonic forces. The Western Rift is a less-known branch of the East African Rift, located in the western part of Africa. It extends from the Democratic Republic of the Congo through Uganda and into Kenya. Unlike the Eastern Rift, which is actively pulling apart, the Western Rift is characterized by compression and tectonic forces pushing the African Plate against the Congo Plate. The geological processes associated with the East African Rift system are complex and dynamic. They include volcanic activity, earthquakes, and the formation of deep rift valleys. Volcanoes are common along the rift, and some of the world's most famous volcanic mountains, like Mount Kilimanjaro and Mount Kenya, are located within the Eastern Rift. As the African continent gradually splits into two smaller plates, it may eventually give rise to a new ocean that separates Eastern Africa from the rest of the continent. However, this is a very slow process that occurs over tens of millions of years, and the transformation will continue to shape the landscape and geology of the region in the distant future. Studying the East African Rift System is not only fascinating from a geological perspective but also important for understanding the long-term geological evolution of our planet. If Africa does rip apart, there are different ideas for how that might happen. One scenario has most of the Somalian plate separating from the rest of the African continent, with a sea forming between them. This new landmass would include Somalia, Eritrea, Djibouti, and the eastern parts of Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania and Mozambique. Another scenario has only eastern Tanzania and Mozambique separating. If the African continent does rupture, the rift in Ethiopia and Kenya may split to create a Somali plate in the next 1 million to 5 million years, a phenomenon that hasn't been observed in hundreds of millions of years when South America and Africa were divided into different continents. The rift system has several positive and negative impacts. 
The positive impact includes substantial geothermal energy potential, and countries like Kenya and Ethiopia have harnessed this for electricity generation, reducing reliance on fossil fuels and decreasing greenhouse gas emissions. The rift's diverse landscapes have fostered unique ecosystems and a high level of biodiversity. Conservation efforts in the region can lead to scientific discoveries and potential new medicines. Rift zones can contain valuable mineral deposits. These resources can drive economic growth and development in the affected regions. The dramatic landscapes created by the rifting process, such as the Great Rift Valley, attract tourists and provide economic opportunities for local communities through tourism and recreational activities. The ongoing rifting offers a unique opportunity for geologists and scientists to study the Earth's tectonic processes, contributing to a better understanding of plate tectonics and the Earth's geological history. The volcanic soils in rift areas can be highly fertile, enhancing agricultural productivity and providing opportunities for food security and economic growth. The negative impacts includes increased seismic activity, leading to earthquakes and potential damage to infrastructure, homes, and loss of life. The rift system can also trigger volcanic eruptions, which pose risks to nearby communities and can disrupt agriculture and transportation. As the continent splits, communities residing in the affected areas may face displacement, leading to social and economic challenges. Rifts can alter the flow of rivers and water bodies, potentially causing water scarcity issues for nearby populations. While the rifting of the African continent offers opportunities for renewable energy, unique biodiversity, and mineral resources, it also presents risks like seismic activity, volcanic eruptions, displacement of communities, and water scarcity. Balancing these positive and negative impacts is essential for sustainable development in the region. Rifting can lead to shifting political boundaries, which may exacerbate existing political tensions and conflicts among neighboring countries. Frequent seismic events and volcanic eruptions can damage infrastructure, including roads, buildings, and energy installations, causing economic setbacks and hampering development. The exploitation of mineral resources and the influx of tourists can lead to environmental degradation, impacting the delicate ecosystems in the rift regions. The ongoing process of continental rifting can create uncertainty for planning and development, as the rate and direction of the split are difficult to predict accurately. While the rifting of the African continent offers opportunities for renewable energy, unique biodiversity, and mineral resources, it also presents risks like seismic activity, volcanic eruptions, displacement of communities, and water scarcity. Balancing these positive and negative impacts is essential for sustainable development in the region. Balancing these positive and negative impacts requires careful management, sustainable development practices, and international cooperation to mitigate the challenges and harness the opportunities presented by the rifting of the African continent. This process is a reminder of the dynamic nature of our planet and the need for resilience and adaptability in the affected regions. In the book of Genesis, the Bible describes the creation of the earth by God. This is a reference to God's creative power shaping the natural world, including geological processes like continental rifting. The Bible contains prophecies about future cataclysmic events, such as those described in the book of Revelation. What we see happening in Africa is parallel between these prophetic events and natural disasters. God is over the earth and all its elements. These geological processes is part of God's divine plan. While Africa is not expected to tear for at least another 5 million years, Somalia and half of Ethiopia, Kenya and Tanzania will form a new continent when it does. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I do pray that we all continue in striving to please God. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching.